Este Simón, fuerte aplauso para Simón. Fuerte aplauso, más fuerte. Hola. Hey, what's up? I am super sorry for the radio silence. I haven't uploaded a video in the longest time. But that doesn't mean I've been sitting on my big ass. Uh, normally sized ass? On my, on my adequately sized ass. Yeah. Last week I was in Madrid to be on the live talk show El Hormiguero and I hadn't heard about it before, but it's actually pretty big. It's had guests like Jennifer Lawrence, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, and moi. That's not Spanish. I brought all of my machines there and it was actually a pretty weird bag to bring through airport security. They were like, ma'am, are those two big knives in your suitcase? And is that an alarm clock attached to a metal box filled with electronics? And is that a cutoff arm? And I was like, I promise that I can explain. And then I got to pitch my YouTube channel and I think I got at least two new subscribers. The talk show is obviously in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish, or I mean, puedo improvisar, porque me gustan las languages. Estoy una mesa. This Spanish Google Translate lady just really cracks me up. She sounds like she's had a little bit too much of a little bit of a little something. Um, what? Tengo un gran culo. But even though I don't speak Spanish, I still thought that I would get to talk. I mean, I saw Will Smith on the show, and he got to talk a lot, so I could at least talk a little bit. But no, I didn't get to talk at all. All I got to do was to stand there and, and look and try to tag along in a Spanish conversation and laugh in the right places. Tentora de lo que vamos a ver ahora, del casco que vamos a ver ahora, y también del despertador, eh? Ah, o sea, que Venga. os habéis juntado el hambre y la gana. Despertador, eh? It wasn't just that I didn't get to talk, but I couldn't even demo my own stuff. There was even this girl who used my toothbrush helmet. I didn't tell her that I've never washed that toothbrush. Felt like a small win. Also, the breakfast machine just got total stage fright. Bien, yo estoy leyendo tranquilamente y entonces nuestro amigo... Espera, espera, que esa... Déjale que cree. Whatever. Not very disappointed about it because I have some really exciting projects coming up. And for the project I'm building right now, I'm getting help from this super mind-blowingly awesome person. And unfortunately, I can't tell you who this awesome person is, but I think that they're gonna go public with it this week. At least I really hope so, because otherwise I think I'm just gonna explode out of pure excitement. Just brain confetti everywhere. Let's reply to some comments. Those underpants actually belong to Chad. He needs your support, not your anger. This one cracked me up so much. The pair of underwear that you found in your husband's car are right yours. Plot twist. Why do you have lots of fake hands lying around in your house? What makes you think they're fake? You look like Amanda from Revenge. Amy Schumer. Willow in Buffy Vampire Slayer. Melaine Laurent? I don't even know who that is. I look like a 30 year old, 20 year old. I mean, I am 25, so I'm practically as close to 30 as I am to 20. With one short vlog, someone has nullified every marriage proposal. If you're still hanging in there, I am on Tinder in Stockholm, so just swipe away. <laughs> I didn't know what to say when I got this one. It still just cracks me up. You sounded like a Wookiee. I'm assuming this one is to the sewage system video. <laughs> I love you and your shit. <laughs> I think that's enough comments for today. See you later. Gracias por tus inventos inútiles. Pero hay, vamos a ver el motor, el motor. Motor con imanes.